Hi, I'm Jessica Hollenbeck with Signature Real Estate Group, and we're going to do the market update. I'm Stephanie with the Hollenbeck team. Let's get started. So big news, always big news, is that the median home price is again at a record high, 450,000. That is an increase of like 3% just in one month. So it's quite a big increase. Uh, overall, it's almost 27% year over year. Yeah. It's amazing. So, um, you know, we, we also see a huge increase in the rent right now. We talked about that last time. Uh, the same data is out, so it's only at 26% um, increase from here. And uh, that median price is $2,053 to rent a regular three bedroom house uh, in the Valley. So again, we're just seeing these record highs. You know, what is causing this inflation. to happen? <laughs> yes, okay. So big news is inflation, right? So why are we seeing this inflation? Well, there's more money printed and that's causing the devaluing of the dollar. Well, that means everything's gonna cost more because goods sold, et cetera, will cost more. So this just happened to me. I went to the dollar store, like the Dollar Tree. I was buying birthday supplies for my daughter and on the sign, the, the lady's sign, it's this big old huge sticker on her shirt. It's the dollar 25 store now. Oh, wow. The dollar 25 store. Can you believe it? No. 25 cents additional. Everything's going to cost at the dollar store. A dollar 25 right. is a huge increase. That is an example of inflation right there. Like a one that we see in the smallest amount of goods. Right. Now that's more than a 7% increase in inflation. Cause that's mm -hmm. by the way, the inflationary number 7%. But what I'm noticing is that businesses didn't get to the increase fast enough. And so they're increasing a lot higher mm -hmm. right now. So how many other places are we seeing inflation right now? Uh, we're seeing inflation with housing. Exactly, right? The housing market, cars. Cars, yep. Um, anything that's a good sold that has value. Groceries, gas. Groceries. Oh, gas. Is how about restaurant right uh, expenses mm -hmm. right now? Like, you know, when you go out, it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, this is not going to change anytime soon. We're mm -hmm. kind of dealing with this for a little while. Um, so what I know about inflation is that we, that, that the Fed is going to have to curb this somehow. Mm -hmm. And so they want the average inflation to be around 3%, two to 3%, but we are well above that because we're sitting almost at 8%. Now that's the actual number. Okay, so other factors that we're seeing uh, in our current market is that we have a population increase. That is another reason mm -hmm. we're seeing such a demand here in Vegas mm -hmm. is, you know, give us a little bit of the numbers on what we're seeing in population right now. So the main states that are coming to Las Vegas are California, of course. Uh, we've got Florida, Washington, Texas, and Arizona. So projected in 2022 uh, right now, we've got uh, 2.5 million people here. And um, in 2035, it's supposed to be 3 million people. Yes. So we're projected to keep growing. That, that is the economic projections. And we, by the way, if you want this data, we're gonna attach it to our market update email that has this video. If you're on our email list, um, this is the kind of stuff that you can download and look at. This report is actually 150 pages long. So uh, definitely get on our list if you're not. We, we don't try to spam you. We want to just email you important stuff like this. Um, so if you want it, let us know. Um, you know, the other thing is, um, retirees are coming here. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, and Henderson and of course Las Vegas are the are Number in three. the top mm -hmm. cities that, yep. that retirees are coming. And of course we know we have great tax advantages and things like that. So those are reasons that we're seeing this increase in population, mm -hmm. um, which kind of go to the idea inflation versus appreciation, mm -hmm. right? So if we have an inflationary market, right? We're seeing, cause there's more money in the system, but we're seeing appreciation because there's an increase in the value mm -hmm. of the housing market because there's a high demand. 
So values increase when there's demand and we clearly are seeing that. So what do you think is gonna happen in the next, the rest of this year? Um, well, it's springtime. It's coming up on springtime. Um, I think that we will see a couple more homes coming on the market. Um, the interest rates uh, have increased almost to an entire point. So I'm hoping that we can have more buyers get into homes right now and we can find some more listings, but um, it's, it's not projected to go down anytime soon. And that's right, we talk about this often. Um, so the reason it's not projected to go down necessarily, even though we might see rates go up slightly, which they already have, yep. is the inventory is still so low. Um, it is an extreme seller's market, which makes it hyper competitive for good homes that are out there. Um, so when we're having this, this factor, um, it doesn't mean every house is gonna get a bidding war. It's just the good houses get bidding wars. <laughs> um, but uh -huh. we, we wanna strategize on that. If we're helping someone sell, the idea is we get the most money. If we're helping somebody buy, we wanna win and have the best strategy. So it all depends. Um, you know, when we're, we say, oh, hopefully we get some listings, mm -hmm. we actually mean that because literally we are just constantly looking for properties for our buyer pool. Uh, so if you have a listing coming up that you're thinking is your own home that you're going to sell, please make sure you call us because we probably already have somebody for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to go through our list every time. Um, well, I don't want to go too long on the market update. The rest of the data is going to be available uh, if you want to download it. And we want to thank you for tuning in and please subscribe or like our videos. It really helps us out. It gives us an organic reach so that more people will find it. And uh, thank you for your time. Bye, guys.